Counting team, Steve. What do you think we're going to be seeing out there in this one? You know, two teams that get after it. I love to watch the game within the game. Just watching two gladiators go at it, just boxing out. They're grabbing, they're fighting for the loose ball. It's interesting to see what goes on before you actually get the rebound. Kind of like a chess match, right? You make a move, then I'll try to counter that move. And teams now, they count possessions. Analytics, everybody wants to see who has the most possessions, and that will give you a better chance to win the ball game. Ready, gentlemen? Ready? It'll be the Celtics off the tip. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So the Raptors five right now. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Siakam in at the four. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. And that's a quick foul for him there. Looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. Here is Lowry. Outside Leonard. Raptors moving the ball around. Five to shoot. Lowry for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. Well, Lowry has always been so consistent at getting himself to the free throw line. Well, not too long ago, Kyle Lowry was a free agent in high demand, Steve. Toronto signed him to that big contract, and it's worked out for both of them. You know, the Raptors believed in Lowry and were willing to pay up to keep him. They see him as a vital part of this team now. Lowry took some time to mature as a player, but now it's paying off. No good on that one. When you watch Kyle Lowry play, you see how much bigger he is than his stats. He does so many little things on both ends of the floor. I mean, he's a great screen setter, takes charges, all the things that don't necessarily show up in the stat sheet, but are important when it comes to winning. Good on the second free throw. And Greg, with Lowry, it isn't like he's quiet on the stat sheet either. Yeah, he is a bulldog. I mean, he scores it, the playmaking. He's just complete in terms of a backcourt player. Rebounds as well as anybody for his position and got good hands on defense. It just gives you a little bit of everything at that point guard position. And he nails the third. Rozier with the ball. Passes it to Horford. Outside Tatum. Poke loose. Leonard kicks to Lowry. Back to Leonard. The dish to Valanciunas. Yes, that goes in. Valanciunas has got his first points of the game. And Valanciunas just shrugging off the contact there to finish the play. Ogier the pass to Horford. Launches a three, and that's good. Terry Rozier for three. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Leonard finds Valanciunas. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Goes up on the wing, and Leonard gets it to go. He has great instincts on the offensive end. He's tough to contain. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Horford with it. Now Valanciunas defending. Outside Tatum. Hayward on the wing. Green taking his time here. Rebounded by the Celtics. Hayward outside. Rozier kicks to Tatum. Horford the pass to Hayward. Shoots from 14. That shot off. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Outside, Green. 
The pass to Lowry. A floater, and it's sent back by Horford. Here's Siakam. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Celtics trail by three. Hayward kicks to Rozier, and there's the three-second violation. And let's check out some stats for Horford. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. He's averaging 11 points a game, six rebounds, and three assists. Solid numbers, the kind of production we expect. And frankly, I think he's got another level to take it to. I totally agree. He has the IQ and the ability to take it up another level anytime he wants. And stolen by Horford. <laughs> Leonard against Hayward. Pass to Rozier. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. Brown outside. Tatum kicks to Rozier. Six to shoot. Back to Tatum. Three-pointer. You look at Kawhi's work ethic on defense. He's perfected the art. Tatum's shot is off. Fires from deep. And Kyle Lowry with the three. Lowry's got five. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. And now the first time out called here for Boston. Smitty in the early part of the schedule teams with good continuity tend to have an edge. Some teams can't form uh, any continuity at any time early or late in the season. You love those teams and sometimes we evaluate too much by talent. And yes talent can take you over the hump and get you a championship or get you into the playoffs. But when you have that team that's been together when there's 80 90 percent of the guys returning you know this team can get off to a good start and then also they usually can sustain throughout the entire year. And let's take a look at the numbers for Siakam. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. Fourth in field goal percentage. And he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And yeah, he's such an efficient scorer, understands the offense, moves without the ball so well. That's why he's top five in field goal percentage. Outside Tatum. Brown outside. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. Green finds Lowry. Pass to Siakam. He's looking for Leonard and finds him. Buries it down low. Leonard's got his second bucket tonight. Love the aggressiveness. Kawhi very active, very focused on the job at hand. Outside Tatum. In the corner, it's Hayward. Misses off the right iron. Lazy defense against a good score. Turns out not to matter. Green against Brown. Left side, Leonard. There's the basket and make it a double-digit lead. Leonard's got six. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Hayward against Leonard. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. Okay, with this break, let's run down the point guards the most assists in the league in the past 10 games. Kyle Lowry, number one. And he's been doing everything you want from that position, getting everyone involved, making sure the defense has to worry about all five guys on the court.
Fires for three. And again, Toronto with the triple. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Timeout, timeout. Well, the two go hand in hand. Matching your strategy to your personnel is key. Now a timeout called by Boston. And as of late, they have not looked good at all. Actually, they've been dominated. And the worst part, they're starting to get down on themselves. Really need that one big play to spark some life back into them. Brown outside. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Brown's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. And look at what they did in the fourth quarter. Just totally out of sync and, and lacking in intensity. And that turned into that huge comeback. Passes it to Rozier. He dishes it to Horford. Tatum passes to Haywood. And again, Boston with the triple. The catch and shoot jumper from Haywood is virtually impossible to guard. He is so quick on the draw. And when the Celtics traded out of the first overall pick in 2017, you know, many Greg thought they were settling for Jason Tatum for team needs. But he might be the best overall player in that draft. Listen, the Celtics said they would have been fine taking Tatum first overall, and I believe him. I mean, Tatum looks like he could be a superstar very early in his career and does everything at a high level and is already a terrific shooter from deep. Plus, he just has a poise and an air about his game that speaks of superstar. Leonard dishes to Lowry. It doesn't go for him. Celtics trail by nine. Rogier for three. Siakam pulls it in. Toronto's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Lowry up top over Rogier. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game, and the fans here, they know it. Tatum kicks to Brown. And the pass to Horford. Lock at six. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Horford's got himself on the board with three there. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Valanciunas with the ball, and it's Horford picking him up. Valanciunas finds Lowry. Unloads. It's Lowry again missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Up top, Leonard. Fended by Hayward. To the paint. Leonard inside. Guarded by Horford. Pass to Valanciunas. Here's Lowry. And he drops it in from the low post. Lowry's got 12 points in the game. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be his second foul of the game. Boston making some changes. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Tatum. Morris comes in for Gordon Hayward. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Brown. Rozier, the pass to Baines. Back to Rozier. 
kicks it to Morris. Shot clock at six. Three pointer. Good on the triple. And this is in Morris's wheelhouse right here. Extremely fluid with the catch and release. Raptors leading by seven. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Last time they met was in Toronto. And really brought an impressive physicality to that matchup, drawing a ton of fouls, and of course went on to win it. They forced the issue and made the defense hack them to death last game. I'm sure they'll try to mirror that same attack in this one. A moment now to see the numbers for Smart. His last 10 games, he's right around five points a night, four assists, and two rebounds. And to have a knockdown shooter like that coming off the bench, a great asset for any coach. For sure, things can get stagnant without that spark plug. He always seems to supply points for them in bunches. Here's on an open, guarded by Horford. Let's it go with the three. No good on the shot. So the Celtics will take it the other way. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. You get a chance to see the elite court vision there. Excellent pass. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors, leading by five. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. And boy, are they attacking the paint. You know, and Serge Ibaka, a player who kind of came into the league as a defensive stopper, shot blocker, you know, still has great length and can bother shots, but not the prolific shot blocker he once was as the focus has become more on the offensive end. Good, Serge Ibaka. And with Ibaka at one point would average almost four blocks a game. Yeah, I mean, it, it is hard for any player to maintain a pace that high at this stage. Ibaka's done well to adjust, I think, his capabilities and make sure he can still have an impact on defense. The, the block numbers won't ever be as gaudy as they once were, but he is still causing problems for shooters. Miles, that's for two, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Miles has got his first bucket of the night. Celtics trail by 10. Rozier kicks to Horford. 143 left in the first quarter. Now, here's Rozier. Guarded close. Morris right side. Shot clock at two. Coaches are always talking, Steve, about finishing games strong. What does it take to be a great closer, a, a great finisher? I think uh, guys look at guys that can score the basketball and make plays under duress, under adversity. But I think also on the defensive end, where you have players and teams, and it's beautiful to watch on the defensive end when they don't miss assignments. Everybody is locked in, and obviously teams score the basketball, but you look and say, they made them score over the top versus giving up an easy layup. Hmm. Free throw good for Morris. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. And Morris drops them both. 
And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Right outside. Pass to Miles. There's 117 left to play here in the first. Right against Smart. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. We've got a chance here, so let's now look at the real stats, real scores from the real NBA, the league's stingiest teams. The Celtics second. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard, and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. First free throw is good. The Toronto Raptors, they don't get enough credit for their defense. They were a top five team last year in an opponent field goal percentage. And as a group, they close out well and get a hand up on every shot. He's perfect from the line this time. And Steve, the Raptors' defense, they may not have any first-team all-defenders, but as a group, they're solid. They have strong rim protection. They were second in the league in blocks. They rebound well as a group. You don't think of the Toronto Raptors as a defensive team, but this team gets a lot of wins because of their defense. Yeah, and give it up for the feed from Horford. He's a playmaker, and you love having a big man show off that kind of vision. Passes to Ibaka. Drops in the tray. Ibaka's got six. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Ogier, the pass to Horford. And if there was ever a guy who was more than what his stats say, it's Al Horford. Won't have nights where he drops 50 or carries a team with a shot blocking. Shoot but two. you ask anyone he's played with, and they'll tell you he is a perfect teammate. Free throw drop for Al Horford. So Horford gets two. Raptors leading by eight. Van Vliet kicks to Miles. Here's on an open. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. <laughs> and jumping out like this, this man, you automatically start thinking blowout. Double digits in the first quarter. The only thing they have to avoid is taking their foot off the gas. Right against Smart. Six on the shot clock. He kicks it to Horford. And the shot goes in. He's got nine. A top-notch post game is just one of the ways Horford helps his team. One of the more important ways, though, is because he's a tough matchup down low. Kyle Lowry firing on all cylinders for the Toronto Raptors. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We've got more in store for you right after this. Now a veteran in the NBA, Serge Ibaka, talked about his role on this team. I like to do all those little things, running up and down, blocking shot, and straight to floor, making open shot, you know, rolling the basket, screen, you know, those dirty work. I like to do that. And Ibaka, Greg, a great complimentary play. And you like his combination of size and skill, able to impact the game at both ends on a high level. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And what do you guys think about the Raptors here so far in this one? They're just not sitting back. They are going for steals, and their activity has been terrific. You know, sometimes gambling gets you in trouble. But in that first quarter, it was just the opposite. Horford is out the out there with Aaron Baines. 
Then it's Marcus Morris. Then there's Smart. And it's Irving at the point guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, last season started with that horrific injury to Gordon Hayward's leg. Now, it's been a long road back for him, but he took heart in the encouragement he received, not just from his family, but from so many well-wishers. He said, you realize how lucky you are to have people from all over supporting you. Guys? David, I think everyone is rooting for his complete recovery. Thanks for that report. Dishes it to Morris. Smart kicks to Morris. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Smitty, there are a lot of funny guys that play in pro sports, and the NBA is no exception now and in the past. Who would you say is the funniest guy you ever played with? Yeah, a, a couple guys, Kevin. There's some funny guys. I think one that stands out far as just being a straight comedian oh, head guy laughing was Ken Norman. Two shots. <laughs> and I think there's another guy that was extremely funny, but he wasn't trying to be funny, was Dikembe Mutombo. <laughs> some of the things that Dikembe would say and do, it was just hilarious. And he wasn't trying to be funny. And Morris drops them both. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Here's Ananobi, guarded by Horford. The kick out to right. Takes a three. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Only given up two points this quarter. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Ibaka with the ball. Baines is there, right outside. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Boston takes possession. And a chance to check out the stats for Irving. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Putting up about 22 points per, five assists, and five rebounds. So much of what this team does revolves around his offense. He stacks up points. Reason why? Because that's his mindset. He wants to carry the low and clearly is successful at it. And the thing about Morris, doesn't have the big vertical, but tenacious once he gets around the rim. Right against Smart. Right, the pass to Van Vliet. Poke loose. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And now a look at Serge Ibaka. Some stats on him. His last 10 games have been exceptional. 10th in field goal percentage. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And back to his phenomenal efficiency from three, top 10 in the league. His consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense. Smart finds Baines. Ball's knocked loose. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at the Raptors. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And, of course, the Celtics, a few slots below them. And when you look at Boston, this season has been, it's been solid. But they just need to maintain their place in the standings and get 100% prepared here for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball. So if things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. When you watch Ananobi play, he does so much well. Makes his teammates better. Not easy to do as a young wing player. He's a fantastic passer and does a very good job of reading the play. And he makes the first. 
Well, with Ananobi, so much of his impact, Steve, doesn't show up on the stat sheet. Yeah, that passing from the wing is what will set OG Ananobi apart in his career. Already a strong defender. Doesn't need to touch the ball to impact the game. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. And then for Toronto, Kawhi Leonard's checked in for C.J. Miles. Green comes in for DeLon Wright. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet. And the potential Ananobi has is exciting. Has the athleticism, the shooting touch, and the drive to keep improving. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his third foul of the game. And the Celtics with possession here. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. And the wide open shot from Green. Off the mark there with the three point shot. And that's the shot he wants. Just a little bit out of rhythm. Morris against Leonard. Morris dishes to Irving. Outside Tatum. Lock at six. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Ibaka. Leonard looking over the floor. Now Lowry. 14 points from him the last game against Detroit. Ibaka with the ball. Guarded now by Morris. Leonard buries the 20-footer. Leonard's got 10. Celtics trail by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And here's Irving. 17 points for him last game against Chicago. And when you factor in the assist totals, that's a complete game. There's Green with the three. And it's Irving with the rebound. Austin's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Smart misses. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Leonard. Leonard on the wing. The pass to Ibaka. Back to Leonard. Uncovered. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And it's a 10-point Raptor lead. And when they've gone to him, he has come timeout, through timeout. big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And for critical calls, we've seen video review used over the last few seasons. Would you like to, Steve, uh, see more or less of that going forward? I would say less, and the reason why I think it's taken away from the game, the floor, the game, the momentum, I would love to see, kind of like football, we go to a challenge system down the stretch, whether it's one or two challenges, a half, and then there, after that, if you run out of challenges, you just got to go with what the referee called. Some plays I would love to see reviewable, like whether you stepped on the line, out of bounds, or two or three for three-pointers, or goaltending. Other than that, I would love to go to a challenge system. Excellent idea. And some changes here for the Celtics. Gordon Hayward comes in for Aaron Baines. And it's Brown in for Marcus Smart. And Toronto also making a switch. Siakam's checked in. And the foul called on Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Irving. And still shooting well from beyond the arc. That their percentage down a bit in this quarter, but still respected. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And it's Irving with the ball for Boston. Down by 12. Tatum kicks to Irving. Morris with the ball. It's Ibaka picking him up. On its way from Hayward for two. Boston again missing. Well, this is why you see guys shine away from their mid-range jumper. It's a bit of a lost art. How does he miss that layup? He's too good to be doing that. Hey, 
tipped away. Leonard with the steal. Pass to Lowry. Takes the three. Siakam. Great positioning on the putback. Siakam's got his first points in this one. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. Hayward against Leonard, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And a look now at the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for Boston. Irving kicks to Brown. Six to shoot to stop the run. Toronto grabs the miss. Ibaka's got four rebounds now tonight. Irving against Lowe. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his third foul of the game. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving a man with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. And Toronto making a change here. Valanciunas has checked in. And Toronto has possession. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Green passes to Lowry. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Valanciunas. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Valanciunas has got his second basket of the night. Valanciunas has a look from the mid-range. He is very comfortable taking it. Irving finds Morris. Here's Tatum, and slam dunk by Tatum. Empowering at home. He ends a 12-0 run by the Raptors. Lowry against Irving. Lowry passes to Valanciunas, and he makes that one. Valanciunas has got six. Kyle Lowry with great vision and court awareness on that play. What a pass. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Tatum. Launches a three. Green with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Lowry kicks to Leonard. Over Hayward. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. 14 points for him. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Lowry against Irving. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And with all the drama, Greg, that has followed Irving the past few seasons, he reached out to Kobe Bryant for some guidance. And just like Irving and LeBron had to go their own ways, so did Kobe and Shaq. Very few players know what it's like to be in a situation like Irving, but, but Kobe's one of them. And Kobe gave Irving the confidence to not be afraid of standing out in his career decisions, and so far it's paid off handsomely. And he knocks down the first one. And hey guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Both shots good from the strike. Well, for so long, so many were wondering what Kyrie was thinking when he left Cleveland. What is clear now, though, is that Irving doesn't think about it and has flourished on his own. It seems that he really did just need his own team to become the player he's become. Celtics trail by 18. Good work defensively by Lowry. I mean, you can see it. He's way out of sync. It's been this way all quarter for him. And for Irving, he has let more of his personality come out on and off the floor, Greg, now that he has his own team. Yeah, it really does feel like we are watching a new chapter in Irving's development as a player. Still has the great shot and handles that make him so deadly with the ball. And just visually, while the leadership is also evolving, he just seems more in control of his game and even more lethal as a player. Leonard kicks to Lowry. 
Offline with his three. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Passes it to Siakam. Poked loose. Here's Leonard. Misses off the right eye. Celtics trail by 18. There's the pass to Irving. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Toronto calls timeout. <laughs> you can see his wheels are turning. We'll see what he draws up here. It's been an ongoing battle of adjustments, trying to identify your strongest matchup each time down the floor. Al Horford is checked in for the Celtics. Terry Rozier comes in for Irving. Raptors also changing it up. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Leonard. DeLon Wright comes in for Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. Van Vliet looking around. Kicks to Wright. Toronto needs to get off his shot. And stolen by Tatum. Miles against Hayward. Shoots over Miles. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. Hayward's got five. A six foot eight. It's easy to forget just how dangerous Hayward is with his ball handling. Pass to Valanchunas. Van Vliet kicks to Valanchunas. And the shot goes down. He's got eight. You know, he had a hot start to this game. He's only gotten hotter. We'll see if the defense makes an adjustment. Pass to Tatum. Now, here's Rogier. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. Six to shoot. Here's Brown. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got rebound number eight now on the night. You know what I'll tell you? He's got nothing here in the second quarter after just one May shot in the first. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And stolen by Hayward. That's going to drive your coach crazy. Protect the basketball. He lost focus for one second. There goes the possession. The Celtics have been at their finest form at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Marcus Marks checked in for Jason Tatum. He hits both from the strike. And here are the Raptors now. They led by as many as 18 points. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Van Vliet kicks to right. Pass to Miles. Beyond the arc. And Boston with the rebound. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. The pass to Rozier. Hayward right side. With one on the clock. And he knocks down the jumper. Hayward's got four this quarter. Working over that in-between area. Gordon Hayward with the size and skills to get it done. And so it's Toronto. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thank you, Kevin. Here with Kyle Lowry. Kyle, you came out strong to take advantage in the first half. Were you pleased with the effort? Yeah, uh, we got to keep it up. Our defensive intensity has to stay high. That has led to some great play at the other end. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The story early on was Kawhi Leonard, who was on fire. He had 16 points, four steals, and three assists. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Raptors. Well, what's really shifted the game in their favor has been their rebounding. They got a good edge on the boards, and that's a product of their hard work. All five guys have been battling, putting everything they have to fight on the glass. That needs to remain the focus for two more quarters if they want to hang on to that lead. Kenny, how would you think the Celtics were playing? Well, look, they turned the ball over way too much. You can't do that in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. You can't give them that many possessions. Don't give away the entire game just by giving up an extra few possessions here and there. These guys need to come with more precision in the second half. Hey, and that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. Welcome back to Boston. The buildings of the Financial District visible in all their glory. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. Raptors leading by 12. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. Van Vliet and Green are the guard set. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Siakam in at the four-man position. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got four assists in the game. Kawhi is carving up this defense. Love his awareness. He is finding the open man. Come on, shoot! Come on, let's go! Come on, come on! Man Hayward on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Back to Tatum. Outside Irving. Just four to shoot. That one drops for him. Irving's got six. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Van Vliet kicks to Siaka. Inside. Leonard with the bucket. He's got 18. Kevin, I like that he's staying aggressive. One of the NBA's most consistent scorers. Kawhi's been doing it all tonight. Now in Junis against Horford. Tatum passes to Brown. Green breaking loose, and it's Brown missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Up top, Valanciunas, guarded by Horford. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Celtics trail by 15. Outside Irving. Nice ball movement by Boston. Now here's Tatum. He's tightly guarded. Fast break Toronto. Van Vliet kicks to Siakam. Knocked loose and stolen by Hayward. To the paint. Here's Irving. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Kyrie, an outstanding free throw shooter and very crafty, working himself to the line. Two shots. It, 
That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. You know, when you talk to Kyrie, smart guy, cerebral guy, thinks about the game at the highest level. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. Here's Leonard. 18 points for him. Over to the wing. Alan Junis finds Lowry. Got a piece of it. Outside green. Leonard on the wing. Four on the shot clock. Over Hayward. And the Raptors miss again. And it's Irving with the ball for the Celtics. It's a 13-point game. Brown the pass to Irving. For three, hands it from downtown. Irving's got 11. All the way back in high school, Kyrie showed us he has a unique touch from distance. Green dishes to Lowry. Pass to Siakam. Fires the three. And the Raptors miss again. Boston's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Brown against Green. On the wing, Irving. He's got 11. All on the play. Basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. And that's three out of four now coming out of the break. The offense playing with a purpose. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for the Celtics. The Raptors also changing it up. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Toronto calls timeout. And as of late, they have not looked good at all. Actually, they've been dominating. And the worst part, they're starting to get down on themselves. Really need that one big play to spark some life back into them. moment here to check out some of the stats for Hayward. He's averaging 10 points a game, five rebounds, and three assists. And guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. And the numbers, they back it up. Whether he can sustain this level of production, we don't know. But the arrow's pointing upward right now. Ibaka, no luck. On offense, here are the Celtics. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. Raptors leading by seven. And seeing Gordon Hayward out there, you have to be glad that he was able to recover the way he has from that devastating injury on opening night last season. And I remember your call of the moment, Kevin. The, the whole NBA world just was shocked on that opening night. Uh, as bad as it looked, it, it seemed to be clean enough to where Hayward won't have any lasting issues with it. The rehab obviously wasn't easy, and, and I'm sure Hayward is just thankful that he's been able to come back completely from that injury. His marksmanship this quarter has been unbelievable, yet they still trail in this game. Here's Van Vliet. He's got six. 
outside green just five to shoot shoots over Brown that one off the back iron and out and you see why his reputation is so strong defensively he allows no separation and so many defenses are not designed to take away the mid-range jumper but he's given nothing away offensive rebound green banked in off the glass and the Raptors lead by 10 guys he's having a ball out there well, I mean we knew going in that he'd have an advantage on the glass but I didn't think he could be this dominant what a difference and he's not going to back off even with that big lead he's going to get more motivated to keep stretching out their lead Brown outside Serge Ibaka pulls it in Ibaka's got his fifth rebound in this one I'll tell you he just hasn't been able to get it done on the offensive end it's kind of dragged down the team Ball's knocked loose. Here's Brown. No good that time. Great D that time from Green. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Some changes for Boston. Morris is checked in for Hayward. And Smart subbed in for Jalen Brown. Tatum against Leonard. Over Tatum. Here's Green. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Excellent timing on the offensive glass. And Ibaka takes advantage of the second chance opportunity. The shot's good from Irving. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Toronto leading by 10. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. Pass to Leonard. Here's Van Vliet. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got assist number five here tonight. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. When you think back to 2014, Kawhi was named an All-Star, Defensive Player of the Year, Finals MVP, broke out as a true superstar. Austin making a switch here. Rogier's checked in. And let's take this moment to check out the point guards with the highest shooting percentage from the last 10 games. Fifth on the list, Kyrie Irving. As a point guard, you want to create the best possible shot every trip down the floor. And given the way these guys have shot the ball, you know, it's not a bad idea every now and then for them to go it alone. You're right. I don't care what position it is. With percentages like that, Get them more shots. Ananobi passes to Green. Here's Van Vliet. He's covered by Irving. Six on the shot clock. Van Vliet kicks to Abaka. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Abaka's got ten points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Rozier, the pass to Smart. Irving with the ball. He's covered by Leonard. Puts it up from 12. That one's good, and the Raptor lead has kept back down to 13 points, and that one coming from Kyrie Irving. He really looks composed shooting the ball this half. Much more consistent and in a much higher percentage. Van Vliet kicks to Leonard. Oh, 
over Smart. Again, Toronto. If you can't get Leonard a look inside, this is the next best thing. Terrific touch from mid-range. Rozier looking around. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That is his first foul of the game. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Green. Rozier against Wright. Right side smart. Five on the clock. Off the mark from 16 feet out. Toronto with the ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Leonard, that's for two. And Boston with the rebound. Outside smart. Morris passes to Rozier. Here's Smart. Boston, no good that time either. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Passes it to right. Rozier with the steal. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The smaller guys want to get into the body when they get inside. Get into the line, a good outcome for Kyrie. Nice work at the line so far, going five for five. Two shots. First one falls for him. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Toronto. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. Toronto leading by 13. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Stolen by Smart. The pass to Rozier. Outside Irving. Shot clock reset for the Celtics. Morris. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. And Toronto making a change here. Lowry's checked in. Rozier kicks to Baines. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at five. Nice ball movement by Boston. From deep three-point range. And it's Rozier missing. Toronto's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Pass to Ibaka. And here is Wright to the middle. And now here's Rozier, the fast break chance. Is it down to finish the break. And a lot to like about that play, particularly how it ends. Yeah, at the rack. That's what you want in transition, a high percentage look. Abaka, wide open, he fires. Nailed from three-point land. Abaka's got seven points for the quarter. Celtics trail by 14. Irving finds Baines. Rozier up top, guarded by Wright. Here's Irving, and the layup's good off the glass. Irving's got 24. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. Pass to Miles. Rozier against Lowry. Clock at six. 103 left here in the third quarter. No good with the layup. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Fast break. Here come the Raptors. Here's Miles. Raptors get it back. Right the pass to Ibaka. 
smart deciding where to go with it. They get it again. It's good on the putback. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Here's Lowry. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. The lead now cut to single digits. Rogier's got 13. Well, the thing about Kyrie, he draws so much defensive attention. Someone's often left open. Irving against Lowry. Right, left side. One second left. It's stolen by Ibaka. And so it's the Toronto Raptors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're shooting the ball so well on this one. A great performance from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. So Rogier will bring it up for Boston. They trail by seven. Down low, it's Morris and Horford. Irving is out there with Rogier, and it's smart in at the three side. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Rogier kicks to Horford. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's foul number two for him. And some changes here for the Celtics. Hayward comes in for Marcus Morris. And it's Brown in for Rozier. On its way from Irving for two. A shot's good. Brown making the play. 26 points for Kyrie Irving. The thing about Kyrie, he has great natural balance when setting up for the jumper. Now in Junis against Horford. Shot from 12. No good from Valanciunas. Celtics trail by eight. Left side, smart. Here's Irving. And the rejection by Lowry. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. The Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Outside, smart. On the wing, Irving. Now recovering. Horford dishes to Irving. Shot clock at six. And he converts the layup. Irving's got four points this quarter. Sometimes I think Kyrie likes to get contact, probably because he can still finish through it. Passes it to Valanciunas. And the call will be against Al Horford. That is his first foul of the game. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Marcus Smart. And the Raptors also making a change. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for C.J. Miles. And the Raptors with the ball. They led by as many as 18 points. Back to Green. It's stolen by Brown. Here's Irving. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Leonard, that's for two. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. Celtics trail by six. Irving kicks to Tatum. Here's Horford. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. 
And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, you, you need to refocus now. Momentum is running against you. And from what I'm seeing, there's too many unfavorable matchups out there on the floor. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Toronto's head coach had some words for his team during the break. He told his guys they've got the green light to keep shooting from downtown. He told them, I like the way you guys are working out there. Keep finding the open spaces on the perimeter. They're giving us open shots. And we'll see if they step it up from here, guys. Brown feeling it out a bit. Back to Irving. On deep. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Brown against Green. Here's Leonard. And he banks in the layup. Leonard's got four this quarter. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Knocked loose. Hayward outside. He can't hit that time. Raptors leading by five. This one for three. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Hayward's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Tatum kicks to Irving. Poked away. The turnover total in the first half, only one, but a totally different story here in the second. Here's Leonard. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. That was the best he could do. Just fade a little bit, try and get a clean look, but the defense was right on him. Here's Hayward. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, and Gordon Hayward is a player who's always found a way to add something to his game. Now he feels comfortable going at a defense either inside or out. Great strength when attacking the rim and can shrug off those defenders. The free throw drops by Hayward. And Greg, you mentioned Hayward's strength. That and his ball fakes seem to be not as recognized as they should be. Yeah, I think Hayward has one of the better pump fakes in our league. Great deception with inside-out dribbles to create space. And the things he does well aren't immediately apparent, but Hayward's terrific fundamentals are what make him a great scorer. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. I love the elevation Danny Green gets on his jumper. Makes him tough to defend from distance. Here's Irving. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Irving's got 33. Early in this quarter, he's been aggressive and selective with his shots. Tremendous efficiency. 
And the call will be against Al Horford. That'll be his second foul of the game. Leonard kicks to Lowe. Takes a three. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got his sixth assist on the night. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Irving with the bounce pass. Tatum passes to Brown. Celtics passing it around. And the rejection by Valanciunas. You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. Lowry against Irving. To the inside. Outside Lowry. Shoots the three. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. He shots. Three shots. throw drops for Kyle Lowry we've had a full season now Steve of the Jersey sponsored insignias and patches that has become a reality in the NBA any thoughts on that so far I guess Kevin because I'm old school I, I, I don't like seeing it on the jerseys I like the clean look I would love to see it uh, on their warm-up jerseys you know obviously their warm-up jackets and pants I just don't like seeing it on the jersey but I don't think I'm going to win this one, Kevin. I think they are here to stay. I think they might even add a, more sponsors on jerseys. Yeah, the, the look they like is the look of money. Money. That's a good look. <laughs> That's the look. <laughs> they get from those sponsorships, right. And he nails the third. Here's Irving. A decent amount of time left as they try to find a way back into it. Yeah, but it will be soon if they don't start cutting into this deficit. And here in the fourth, he's carrying this team right now. Five of seven from the field. Irving against Lowry. He kicks to Valanciunas. Over Horford. No good from Valanciunas. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Siakam pulls it in. Raptors leading by eight. Green finds Leonard. Knocks it loose. Down low. Green breaking loose. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Lowry. Yeah, you, you see the killer instinct. He's going for the death blow. True story. They've got a monster league that's taken a life of his own. Charity stripe shot and another basket for Boston. He has flat out dominated this quarter, hitting shots at will. Yet they still find themselves behind. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. I admire the energy that Brown plays was so great at getting to the line. And Jalen Brown was given quite the compliment on his game from Draymond Green, who felt, Greg, that Brown was good enough to be an All-Star. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I'd be fully on board with that assessment in terms of last year, but I do think he's well on his way to becoming an All-Star. His scoring and offensive impact continues to grow each year, and he's shown a great knack on the defensive side as well. Terrific two-way player. The sky is the limit. That free throw good from Brown. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive. As relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Toronto. He makes one of two that time. Raptors leading by seven. A three from Leonard, and again, Toronto with the triple. 
Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. On the wing, Irving. Kicks to Horford. Back to Irving. And Irving throws it down. A man of many moves. Kyrie showing us a little of everything tonight. Toronto's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. Green against Brown. And there's the pass to Siakam. Three-pointer. Lowry drills it from outside. Lowry's got 11 points here in just the second half. Having a monster night from beyond the arc. He had two bombs in the first half. Now three more since. Lowry drawing the double team. Again, Toronto. If you let Serge get looks in there, he's going to shoot him for a very high percentage. Celtics trail by 13. Hayward kicks to Irving. Great T that time from Green. Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position. Does a good job of affecting the shot without fouling. Pass to Ibaka. A rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got five rebounds tonight. On the wing, Brown. Guarded by Green. Hayward passes to Irving. Green with the rebound. Green's got rebound number eight now on the night. Ball's knocked loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here's Toronto. Irving against Lowry. Pass to Ibaka. Clock at four, and the call will be against Al Horford. And that'll be his third foul so far. Lowry against Irving. Six to shoot, and it's Lowry penetrating. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Raptors lead by 15. One of Serge's specialties. Timeout, Good timeout. instincts around the rim, cleaning up the garbage. Now a timeout called by Boston. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. They lost two straight coming into this one, and he knew he needed to put his foot down. He showed leadership tonight, getting them back on the winning track. Outside Tatum. Irving against Lowry. Irving kicks to Horford. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up?
Raptors leading by 12. Lowry with the ball. There's the triple. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Another triple. And that's been the story of this second half. Coming out of the break, they've relied on their perimeter offense to generate points. Right now, it's working. With a floater, and that's two points on the layup. Lowry's got 16 points here in the second half. Full speed ahead. I mean, they have been in control since the opening tip, and that may have sealed the deal. Yes, and you're watching. Even this late in the game, they're still making plays. You got to love watching it. Green kicks to Siakam. Ibaka, the pass to Green. Raptors moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Shoots over Brown. And the Raptors tack on two more. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for Toronto. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Leonard. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for the Celtics. Morris comes in for Gordon Hayward. Raptors also changing it up. Ananobi, he's checked in for Siakam. C.J. Miles comes in for Leonard. And it's right in for Green. A shot by Lowry, no good. Boston's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. To the middle. Shot to stop the run. Toronto grabs the miss. There's 37 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Irving's got 41. The anticipation of Kyrie steals it away. Kicks off the fast break. Lowry finds Ibaka. Morris against Miles. For the three. Connects from three-point range. And the Raptors lead by 20. Tremendous effort here on the road. That plane ride home is going to be sweet. They better have some extra goodies on that plane because after this blowout, they deserve to be rewarded. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Danny, a strong defensive effort both individually and team. Now, how comfortable are you at that end of the floor now knowing that you can make things tough on the opposition? Well, um, we want to make them take tough shots. Um, we're not comfortable at any point defensively, but we got to continue to be active and be aggressive and get our hands on loose balls. It's been the mark of the Spurs for a long time, Danny. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.